So if you know who I am on YouTube, you probably know me as the guy who teaches you the way artists blow up these days, and that is largely in part to inundating their audience with content. So I always recommend that every artist maximizes every song they release by trying to get as much attention as possible for it by constantly sustaining reminders to the audience that you already have and the people surrounding them so that they see it and listen to your music since that's the goal after all. But what I hear from you all all the time in the comments and on the discord is that lyric videos and visualizers take too much effort and you got real important things to do like trying to get some Elden Ring or whatever. So since your time is clearly so valuable, I have really good news. I've teamed up with this amazing site called videobolt.net that helps you make lyric videos and visualizers for your music fast and they look amazing. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you to do just that. Hi, I'm Jesse Cannon, a music marketing nerd who's teaching musicians how to grow their fan base from zero to 10,000 fans, and this is Museformation. Now before we get into the fun, it's important we go over some quick theory, and I know some of you musicians and your simple brains hear that, and the drool starts coming out of your mouth, and the hamster spinning in the wheel in your brain starts to slow down. But here's the good news, and I know you're going to like this. This theory teaches you to do less work and focus your hard work where it's important. Straight up. The reason we first release a video of your song with just the album cover, then two weeks later we will release either a lyric video or a visualizer, and then we release the music video, is we need to continuously grab attention. And I really respect the art around music, but here's the thing. The lyric video is largely just for the audience to grow a deeper relationship with the song by knowing the lyrics, which they learn in a more enjoyable way in video form than reading them in the description of your YouTube video. And if you make a visualizer, it's just to put visual imagery up on the screen so that people can ingest the song and be more intrigued with it. And if I'm being honest, it gives you a reason to remind your audience your song exists without crying wolf over nothing and drawing the audience over to a big nothing burger of content. So what I'm trying to say here is this should not be the greatest piece of art you've ever made. Instead, let's save that for the music video. We want to perform function in these videos. That also feels emotional and looks as good as possible, but if you're taking tons of time and budget to make a lyric video or a visualizer, you're not putting your attention to where it should go, which is the music video. And that's why we're going to enlist this great tool, videobolt.net, to help us out. And let me just say before I start the tutorial, as regular viewers of this channel know, I don't do a lot of these sponsorships. I really do sometimes consider putting up a scoreboard for how many times I turn down good money to do these sponsored videos, but I refuse to put my name next to any product I think would do you all wrong. I really think this is a great tool that makes musicians lives easier, so I was happy to team up with them. And seriously, this whole integrity thing has me leaving money in these startups pockets to spend on things like candy walls for their employees when they could be lining my influencer pockets so I could afford those Todd Snyder jeans that have those really expensive pockets. So Video Bolt is an online browser based platform, meaning that you don't need to download any software to use it. Everything happens online, no After Effects or any other software download required, which is good because I'm getting pretty good at editing video, but that Fusion or After Effects stuff still makes no sense to me. Literally everyone can create lyric videos with it. No video editing skills needed. But to me, what's really cool about it is you can create amazing lyric videos in an intuitive online editor using templates designed by some of the world's top video designers. You can create other things on the platform too, like visualizers, intros, or promos, even social media assets to promote your next show or your album. But today we're going to talk about the videobolt.net lyric video maker specifically. And let me give you some good news if you want to follow along with me right now. You can, because you can test out everything for free and not pay unless you're psyched on the video you make while we do this. And they have a whole bunch of different pricing plans. So depending on whether you want to pay monthly or yearly and how much content you think you're going to need to make, you can choose a tier that makes sense for yourself. Okay, so let's crack open videobolt.net and make a lyric video. And you can see how simple this is as I do it for the first time myself. All right, so this is the first screen you'll see. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to solutions. As you can see, lyric videos with a nice new sticker on it. So we're going to click lyric videos. And remember, you don't even need to log in or sign up yet to do this. So here you'll see all the templates they have. There are over 2,700 video templates available on the platform, which are not only lyric templates, because you can also create music visualizers, intros, promos, and slideshows with the same subscription. That includes making flyers for your shows and all sorts of things. So we're going to choose a template. 
I always try to think about the emotion of a song. So the song we're going to be using is one that you may have heard in previous videos. It's by a project called Echo DDT that my bud Zach does. The song is called A Million Reasons to Cry. I mixed and mastered it. I really love the song. So uh, the other thing is it has really simple lyrics, so it makes it really easy to do one of these four. So let's look through these templates. As you can see, there's a pretty good variety. It's pretty easy. So I feel like of the ones I see here, I mean, this is fun for like a certain type of thing, but I feel like the song is a little poppy and bouncy for this. This feels good because the song's a little lonely and, uh, you know, that's some lonely imagery. I'm going to choose this. Plus, like, it's got kind of the hyper pop thing, and we all know the kids in that genre uh, love the anime. Uh, so let's look at this. Yeah, this looks absolutely perfect. Feels like the emotional song. I like the little heart down there. But one cool thing is, so as you can see too, if you want to make this for Instagram or TikTok, you can do that with the 916 there. All right, so we're going to click edit to go in and make this. Uh, and this is when it's going to want you to log in. I've already made an account, so I'm going to go do that. So we're going to name it the song title. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the track. So as you can see here, you can do an MP3 wave flock or M4A. I suggest doing a wave since that's the best quality, but you can also import from SoundCloud, which is pretty cool. I have a wave because I mastered it, so easy enough. nice quick upload so now we want to select the part of the song so since i mixed and mastered this i could see that the chorus is where the wave gets more flat lines since uh you know that's how i do all right that's a good put place to do the uh preview okay so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the lyrics so you can use one of these .srt files, which is like a file that links to a timeline and like can say how long it is. It's what people use for subtitles, but I'm not a nerd, so I don't know how to do that. So I'm just gonna add lyrics manually because uh, I'm not a nerd. I'm gonna do it a little bit of justice with uh, this nerd thing, but here we go. Create lyrics and so it's gonna ask me to paste the lyrics. So I have the lyrics over here. Just gonna do a chorus, wanna keep this nice and short. So you're going to see how simple this is. So doing a whole song would just be repetitive. It's really, it's unbelievably simple. The simplest I've ever seen of any lyric video maker. All right, so you paste it here, and then you write fill from lyrics. And look at that. It's all broken down into different lines right there. There's a whole thing on uh, shortcuts to do all this, but I got to tell you, it's super, super easy. So we go to this one. And so I figured out what the chorus is about it right over here. All right, so what I do is I then hit. So you see how there's these markers, you can see exactly where to drop everything as you hear it. So I hit the letter Q on the keypad and it drops the first line in. So then I listen back. I'm gonna look for the end of that lyric. And you know, we've broken these lyrics up into kind of similar amounts so that they're big across the screen. We want that to be consistent. If you just pasted all the lyrics up there, they'd be really tiny and no one could read them. So they, we want to have them consistently be around the same length. As you can see there, it's not totally the same length, but like relatively there within, you know, you wouldn't want triple the length. Then it starts to get ridiculous. Look at that. How easy is that? So now that we're done making this lyric file, you just go like this, you hit save, hit save, creates a little file, and you close out of here, 
We just saved it so you can hit close without saving. And there's your lyrics. Let's look at this bad boy. So simple. So some other cool things you can do. They do have all these other themes that are related to this. Like, I mean, this one's kind of cool. We can here. Let's actually take a look at that. Like, you know, I feel like this song's about how he wants to be with his uh, friend, you know, well, anime they and anime them, you know, like just hanging out, walking through a really big cloudy mountain like anime people do. This is really cool because like it really allows you to have your own personality in the video. And with that, all right, but I am going to go back to the original one I had because it feels like more like the emotion of the song. And what's even cool too is let's say you actually have your own art that you think will be cool since like, you know, these are largely just single screens with some animation around it. If you make your own animation, like, you know, this has, right, you can actually upload that yourself too. So then the other thing that you can do is customize. So you got all these different fonts. You can do Google fonts. Wow, you can even upload a font. That's pretty cool. So if you have a font that you use for your style, you can do that. That is pretty interesting. Oh, different languages. Look at that. Wow. So even too, you can blur some of it. You can desaturate. You can do all sorts of things to tweak this. There's even a different color scheme. So if you have like colors for your brand, you can match that. That's really pretty awesome. Oh, so we got these advanced controls. Oh, I love that. So Google Fonts is really a, a, a well, as we would say, of a lot of fonts. Really, really usable stuff, too. Always impressive. Here, let's just do bangers because it's fun. Now, see, now you have a whole different font for this. So if we go back, look at that. Yeah. Love that. And you can really tweak this a lot. Like if you are the type of person who really wants to get specific, they got so many different little ways to t tweak it. I have to say that that is really, really cool. Okay, I'm happy with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click produce and download. Yeah, I wanna produce that. And then the video renders. Okay, then you have your finished video here, which you can download here or as a zip. You can also share it with people or publish it right to YouTube if you just sign into YouTube. I want to show you one last thing, and that's that you can also make visualizers for your music. So as you can see here, there's tons of different styles, like really a ton to choose from. And just like the lyric videos, once you get in there, you can also change little things about the theme really customize it to yourself. They also have tons of templates that will work well for like making one of those intro videos for your YouTube channel or a video to promote your show or your record. With all those credits you get, you can do tons of stuff and really make it worth your while. And if you don't get that, just remember I answer every question in the comments below. Look at that, you now have a lyric video. Also, before you pay for it, you should head to the description of this video where I have a discount link where you get 10% off your first purchase with Video Bolt. Look at how good I am to you guys. So make sure to smash that like and subscribe for more videos like this. Okay, on the screen now is a video on how to make great music videos that you should really watch. Click and keep learning. Thanks for watching.